you know. But you're not five star. And you know you are. If your toes hang over your shoes. Mm -hmm. You're not five star if your clothes came from the body shop. You're not five star. Your nails all cranked up, beat the fuck up, and you just all here stunting and shit. You're not five star if you depend on a nigga. Just cause you got a financial aid grant check, that don't make you a baller, bitch. It's about a million more motherfuckers around here that get grant check. You are not a baller if you depend on your daddy to give you money. You are not a baller if your family gives you money. A five star bitch is one that don't fight in the club, one that don't put on with that bullshit. It ain't got to be her hair, but at least it look like it's her hair. Listen, bro. Yo, what, what Papa Doug say? And you I, I just don't even with a ponytail. Listen, you know you ain't five star. If you ain't five star, you ain't five star. You know who you are. I ain't really gotta keep going here. I mean, y'all out there listening, I mean, y'all know. A five star bitch is a five star bitch, hands down. It just ain't no explanation to a five star bitch. It ain't just, just cause you look good, you five star. Or just cause your dress fit tight on your ass, you five star. What the fuck, you just bought a, a dress that's tight. That's all. Five star is before you come to, you five star when you not at the club. You five star when you at work punching in them keys all day. You, you five star when you do your work in school and you get that report card back and you ain't got nothing but A's and B's on there. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just so much. Ladies, matter of fact, ladies, this ain't necessarily got to do with club, but you want to know how you really attract it? I tell you how you really attract when a brother see you got a job. Because I tell people the, the most attractive thing I can see a woman in is a work uniform. Mm. Real talk, work, not just a woman in like a, 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 a form-fitting dress or five-inch stiletto heels. But when I see her in like in like a, a, a uniform, I'm just gonna throw a place out there, Office Depot uniform. I'm like, okay, she getting money. That's what attracted to me. And speaking of ego, when you talk about egos and all this, I'm tired of these people who feel just because they met the people who's over the party and whatnot, thinking they can get in the club for free. Like, hey, bro, let me in the club. I just met you last week, and I was trying to come up on stage and holler at the DJ. The DJ and everybody else on stage, they don't really mess with you like that. We just know you, we cool. Don't try to come up there and parlay with us and stand up there trying to show out for all them people that just be like, oh, uh, Joe Blow, he know us. I mean, Joe Blow know the DJ now, so he must be somebody. No, he just happened to get on stage while the DJ is busy uh, mixing it up for the crowd. The DJ is controlling the crowd. He ain't got time to work with trust me. The DJ um, wasn't so busy doing he saw you up there. The DJ kicked you off. You know what I'm saying? The rest of the, we vibe. We don't care about you being up there. Notice you stay up there and everybody else is either talking to whoever they talking to. We just vibe to the music. We don't really care that you know. Another thing. You see me outside the club and you, you know you ain't got two words to say to me on a, a, a common day. I'm going to have three words to say to me on, on a club night. Cuz, you going to get me in? Um, oh, I'm your cousin. Nah, man. Uh, could I, I know you got pulled up here. Yeah, I got pulled up here, but not for you. I mean, kin folk, not kin folk. I don't give a damn who you are. If you don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you. Why do you, I mean, I, I don't like the, the thing where people think because they come to the club that you supposed to treat them extra special because they decided to come. Regardless of whether you come in and you come not, we're going to have a good time. I mean, one person ain't never made no club, man. By them not being there, I mean, well, you know, we're not talking about a DJ or, or MC or nothing, but we're talking about like people. Just call them being just patrons. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Patrons, you know? Yeah. But, um, well, we might talk on that next week. We might talk. We're going to talk on that next for, week. For final words, what would you say the, the most important things for a female to remember? And the most important thing for like a male to remember when going to a club. Like what not to do or what to do. What not to do for a male. Top thing. Is don't try so hard to impress the ladies. That's the number one thing. Don't try so hard. It's like basically what uh, my brother told me. My brother told me this one thing when I was young. And I'll never forget this. He like I was like 13, pulled me aside. I said, you spend all that time, you trying to impress all these women and all this. All you got to do is nine times out of ten, tell us when you go to the club and tell you like this. Whoever, you, any ladies you're trying to get it, just watch them for about ten minutes. If you just watch the ladies for about five, ten minutes, not just like 
glam or like that, but just like watch her for a little bit while you party. The woman's gonna tell you everything about herself within five to ten minutes. And all you gotta do is just go up there and capitalize on everything she been showing you. It's body language, you know? Understand body language. And that's all I got to say. Okay, so since you broke it down for the family, I'm gonna break it down for the lady. Please. Okay, ladies. Do's and don'ts of the club. This is what you do. You go in with class. A lady is meant to be seen and not heard. That's one. Two, don't go up. It, this even come before you get to the club. If you know that what you got on is going to make them niggas grab your ass, touch your ass, grab your titties because they can see the full figure in the shape. Don't get mad when you come in there and they do it. See, the biggest problem is they say, well, I hate going up in there because they always touching on me. They always doing this to me. They always doing that to me. But look how you present yourself. You're giving it to them. You, you, you showing. Say, here, this my ass touch. You ain't saying that, but that's what your clothes saying. That's what your body saying. And rule number three, it's the way you present yourself. Basically like the men. It's the way the men carry themselves. It's the way you act about in the club. It's what you, like, like you said, you observe before you go out. You know? Well, now that you know that the man is observing five to 10 minutes before we come to you, you need to take five to 10 minutes to see what you're doing. That's what's going to attract people. I mean, cause I mean, it just, it just goes, you know, I mean, I got a girl and all this, but I still think in the mindset of a man, you know, I look around, I look around. Okay. Now if I was cheap, this is what I do. I, I, yeah, I go talk to her. I go get up. I go get that girl like that. Yeah, she look like something I, I fuck with. Oh, oh hell no. Nah. Bet the boo over there. Hell no, nah. I don't fuck with that. She, she like, oh, who, who, who fuck about shit like that to the club? You know, we talk we, we talk about shit like this. Y'all think y'all talk about niggas? Niggas talk about we women. Worse than we, y'all. we be like, look at, look at her toes, dog. Look at her toes crawling out her shoes and shit. Look at, yeah, claws. You can see her fucking track. Press yourself up. Y'all talk about the men. Take time to do something for y'all self. I mean, it don't cost it don't cost y'all twenty five dollars to look nice in the club. It costs us twenty five dollars for a fucking jacket. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Take time, respect yourself, so somebody else will respect. And piggybacking on what he said, right quick, like ladies, y'all shouldn't like come up to me, cause some of y'all y'all come to me and like y'all make sexual gestures, and then when we act upon it, you say, "Oh, I'm treating like." Don't make, uh -huh. a, don't make a sexual gesture to us. Like, had an innocent girl talking about she was up, uh, she was horny. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell no guy that in the club. She said, Oh, I'm horny. I said, Well, I'll fi I can fix that for you. Oh, no, I got a boyfriend. But you come up and tell me that you was horny for. So, basically, the whole thing I get out of this, y'all saying, Don't chase a track. Like, don't look so desperate, then become mad when somebody feel that you are desperate. Mm -hmm. You know, use common sense as in class to attract what you want. Don't go out chasing by wearing, you know, something you think fly, which is not mm -hmm. at the end. Right. And, and the rule, one above all, come to the club and have, in order to have a good time, don't come to the club if you got to come to fight. Please. The club is made for people's enjoyment and, and, and have a good time. It's not made for it to be UFC 120. Mm -hmm. Or the new fight in Las Vegas in Caesar's Palace. That's not the club's purpose. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just to come and be social and uh, meet new people and have a good time. Sometimes, depending on what you're there for, get business opportunity. I'm going to tell you like this. If you don't come to the club to have a good time, I'm a French ass out. Y'all ought to know me by now. All right. Well, that's it. Well, that's it, folks. You, know. you know what I'm saying? Y'all know where to hit me. Find me. Um, got something you want me to talk about? Email me at petermag10 at yahoo.com. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash petermag10. And um, I appreciate Black T Hollis for sitting in with me, bro. Appreciate oh, that. Hey, no, um, you got something you want to tell the people I follow you? Keep up with you. Well, I mean, y'all already know facebook.com backslash black T. Or you can follow me on Twitter. At um, Black T 93 BLX, or you can listen to the Playhouse Monday through Friday, 2 to 7. Me, KJ, and Nina Ross, 2 to 6 on Saturday, or then you just stay posted on Facebook and see where I'm going to be at that night. That's pretty much it, man. And that's all from us. We thank y'all for being with us. God bless y'all. Take them words, dog. I love y'all. Bye.